Hi there folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. Really quickly, uh, I set up a little spot. I've got some high winds going today. I've been trying to do this shot for the last few minutes. Uh, I can't keep the lighter lit to show you what's going on here. I want to show you the crude oil, the bio crude, actually burning and in action so you can see that it's actually quite flammable. So give me just a moment here. I'm going to walk over there, scrape some up, light it on fire and show you what it can do. All right, so what we got here is we got one stick that I just set up in another shot. I may use that later on, so I'm not going to light that now. We're going to start from fresh. Uh, we've got some cardboard here. I'm going to go ahead and shred a little chunk of it up. Uh, this is a funnel. Well, here, we'll start with this. This is the jar that we had the amber-looking crude inside of. Uh, that was that jar we were watching fill. I've dumped most of the lighter liquid out of there, and right now, if you look inside of there, there's this layer of a very golden oil that's very heavy, very sticky, that doesn't want to come out of there very easily. So I'm going to wipe this piece of cardboard around inside of there, and we're going to take a sample and see how well it burns. You can see it's actually a good oil when you put it in there. My hands are going to get very covered here trying to do this. All right, so. You can see here we've got a nice sample of that bio crude oil there. Some on my fingers. If the winds will allow us here, let's see how it lights. So there you go. Just a brief moment in the lighter and we've got ignited fuel. Uh, the wind is shifting on me a bit here so it's going to be difficult to see the flames going to the opposite way all of a sudden. But it's an aggressive burn. You can see the black smoke from the uh, oil burning off the top of that. All right, so there's one good test, and it doesn't want to go out. There we go. Uh, let me go ahead and take another piece of this cardboard. Oh, uh, here, we'll use a stick this time, just to show you it on a piece of wood. We'll take that jar once again. I'm going to get even oilier this time. Try to wipe it around in there and get some of that oil to cover that stick for a good sample here. So there you go, we basically were able to cover that entire stick with this bio crude that's inside of there. Let's see how well we can get it to light here. So there you go, just a moment with the lighter and some wind cooperation to keep it going from the right direction. And there's your bio crude on fire. Highly flammable fluid. You can see it's raging right towards my fingers there. I'm going to have to let it go. Got me a little bit of a burn. But there you go. So that's your bio crude in action. It's highly flammable. Uh, usable fuels. Once again, just another sample here. Since my hands are already covered, I'll take another piece of wood here and try to saturate it with some more of this oil. So as you can tell here, I'm just really trying to wipe that stick around in there, making a good mess of everything, trying to put a good coating so you can really see that this is quite a flammable oil. Hopefully it doesn't light all the way up to my fingers there, huh? No, it'll be all right. So here we go. Obviously that stick is heavily covered. Once again, if wind's permitted for us here, we're going to put that up. And there you go. You're already on fire. Highly flammable fluid, as you can tell. We had a little bit of a traveling uh, cinder there for a second. So there you go, a lot of fuel energy, as you can tell, it's still traveling. Set that down, starting to get hot. Well, I hope that's a good example and demonstration. Uh, the winds are changing without the oxygen to the underside. Once again, I'll relight that for you. and it's basically used up all its fuel energy. Uh, so there's your bio crude in action, just to show you that it is obviously a very flammable substance. Uh, the crude that we were burning here is actually what came out of this container. If I hold that jar out, that's that amber colored, not even the darkest of it all. 
That was actually the dark crude that you saw on the bottom of the jar when I showed it to you in the earlier film uh, without the lighter stuff in there. So that's what that looked like and without any real distillation or anything it's obviously highly flammable fuel. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time this is Mr. Teslonian and the Teslonian Man Show.